Hi everyone, welcome back to Frugal Watch Box. Today, we will be comparing one of Casio's most affordable diver-style watches. The MRW 200H with a blue dial, and the more expensive American Field watch. Timex Expedition Acadia TW 4B26500. The Casio MRW 200H, which I recently acquired at an amazing price of $17, was purposely chosen with a blue dial because I love it. The Timex Expedition Acadia was bought in January of this year for about $70, which is a bit expensive, but it was my first American watch, so I don't really mind as I like the aesthetics and overall look, especially the Indiglo feature. First, let's discuss the specs of the Casio MRW 200H. It has a case size of about 44.6 millimeters, excluding the crown. A lug-to-lug -lug distance of about 47.9 millimeters a thickness of about 11.6 millimeters, a lug width of 18 millimeters, and a weight of about 39 grams. The case and bezel materials are made of resin, including the glass. The case seems robustly constructed, though a stainless steel case would make this watch even better, but of course, the price would go up. The medium-sized crown is protected, a common feature in field or diver style watches. The bezel is rotatable, but there's no click or lock mechanism, making it more of a decorative addition to the diver style look. A real diver's watch like the Casio Duro would cost around $70 to $90. On the bezel are white painted numbers from 0, 05 to 55 in increments of 5, with the numbers 15, 30, and 45 highlighted in larger font. At the 12 o'clock position is an inverted triangle with a blank circle in the middle. There are white bar markers with four white lines for the second indicators around the dial. The hour markers are Arabic style, white, and large, making them easier to read. Below these hour markers are small white numbers from 13 to 24. The large Casio logo is prominently placed below the 12 o'clock position, followed by the quartz imprint. The water resist 100 meters imprint is located just above the 6 o'clock position. The dial is deep blue, but I couldn't get a sunburst effect using artificial light, despite trying several times. Finally, at the 3 o'clock position is the day and date window framed in white. The red accent on the day makes this watch feel a bit special, I guess. The hour, minute, and arrowhead-shaped second hands are all in white, creating a high contrast with the blue dial, making this version of the MRW 200 HA better option for readability. Setting the time is a breeze. On the first pull and rotating down, you can adjust the date while rotating up will change the day. On the second pull, you can set the hour and minute. The strap is the standard Casio resin strap that will last a few years. It's dependable and sturdy, but you can always opt for an aftermarket one, either leather or steel. Luckily, the Casio logo is imprinted on the buckle this time. The stainless steel case back has all the necessary imprints, such as the model and module numbers, water resistance rating, and more. However, on the wrist, the 44.6mm case size feels a bit large on my tiny 6.5-inch wrist. But as I said, if you love the watch, size doesn't matter, just get it. Now, let's move on to the military-style watch the Timex Expedition Acadia TW 4B25500. First, let's look at the specs. The case size is 41 millimeters, about 3.6 millimeters smaller than the MRW 200H. It has a lug-to-lug -lug distance of 49 millimeters, which is 1.1 millimeters longer than the MRW 200H. The case thickness is about 11 millimeters, compared to the MRW 200HS 11.6 millimeters. 
the lug width is about 20 millimeters, wider than the 18 millimeters on the MRW200H, and the weight is about 49 grams, making it heavier than the MRW200H. The bezel and case materials are made with tough resin, which feels sturdier and bulkier than the MRW200H, likely accounting for the heavier weight. Unlike the MRW200H, the bezel is fixed. The crystal is mineral glass. The crown is also protected and has a split knurled design, providing a better grip when pulling or adjusting the time and date. These features are absent in the MRW200H, but the Timex Expedition Acadia is a much more expensive watch. Similar to the MRW200H, there are number markers on the bezel from 05 to 55 in increments of 5, with a small black inverted triangle appearing in increments of 5 minutes from the 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock positions. The Arabic-style hour markers are brown, complementing the brown nylon strap. On the inner dial are numbers from 13 to 24, similar to the MRW200H. In fact, the dial design of this Timex is almost identical to the MRW200H. The red Timex logo is printed just below the 12 o'clock position, and the red accent makes the logo stand out, complementing the red arrowhead second hand. The Expedition imprint is seated just above the 6 o'clock position. At the very bottom of the dial, you'll find the Indiglo and WR100M imprints. Adjusting the time is easy as well. The first pull adjusts the date, while the second pull adjusts the hour and minute. The strap has a black hard plastic end link, and the strap itself is made of robust nylon, brown on the top side and black underneath. The nylon strap is very well stitched, and with nine holes, there's no issue catering to smaller wrists. The plastic retainer feels sturdier compared to the Casio. The stainless steel, sandblasted buckle has the Timex logo imprinted. And the double stitching on the buckle adds to the overall robustness. The stainless steel case back has all the necessary imprints, including the Timex logo, model number, lug width, water resistance level, battery code, and more. This makes it easier to refer to if you ever want to replace the strap or battery. On the wrist, the Timex Expedition Acadia has a better presence due to its smaller 41mm case size. The Indiglo technology for lighting makes this Timex superior to most watches, though I would question the battery life of this watch. The cheaper MRW200H has a very humble glow, with only the hour, minute, and second hands having loom. Without the hour markers glowing, time identification can be difficult, especially in complete darkness. Here's a short summary of the comparison between the two watches. The Casio MRW200H offers excellent value at just $17, with a larger 44.6mm resin case, a lightweight design at 39 grams, and a blue dial with a simple day-date function. It's a budget-friendly diver-style watch with minimal loom but decent readability. The Timex Expedition Acadia, priced at $70, 
is a more robust field watch with a smaller 41 mm case, weighing 49 grams. It features Timex's signature Indiglo lighting and a durable nylon strap. The Acadia has a more premium feel, but at a higher price point. Both watches offer great features for their respective prices, with the Casio being a budget-friendly diver-style option and the Timex offering better durability and night visibility. And that's it for today's comparison. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.